the center of mass, not related to the center for disease control, but the center of mass describes if you measure the mass of all parts of an object and try and find where the average is of all the mass and balance that, that's the center mass. It turns out that the center mass is the balance point in each axis of an object. This Coca-Cola bottle is balanced horizontally here on the piece of wood because combined their center of mass is right over the bottom, the footprint here. So it stays still. It's pretty cool. So for something to not fall over, its center of mass has to be directly above where it's balanced. So this is a wooden block and it's got a big copper chunk of metal in here that makes it heavy in the bottom. So now as I raise it up in the air, you can see that it stays pretty stable and it doesn't fall over. It starts to slide eventually. But if we flip it upside down now, watch for when this starts to tip, when the center of mass of the block begins to no longer be above the footprint and it starts to be above the side, the block should fall over. So as we tip it, the center mass now is getting close and it's soon going to be over the edge of the block. Boom! Fell over. So the center mass for something has to be above its footprint or it's going to fall over. So here we have the leaning tower of physics and its center mass is still above its footprint, above its base, so it's not going to tip over. I can add pieces and make it hot, tie, higher here, but it's still not falling over. Its center mass is still above its base. And If I'm careful and keep, add, keep adding pieces just right, its center mass is still stable. Here's the tricky one. And it's still stable. The center mass is just barely on this side of the baseline here, so it's still over the base, but if I put any more on top, the leaning tower of physics falls over. So now it's time to play with blocks. All right, everybody loves blocks. Well, I can build a little block bridge out off of the table, and in fact, if I do it just right, I can actually get one of my blocks to hang suspended in midair here. Well, not quite, but to be floating out over the edge. And the trick is, of course, all about what? Center of mass. If I can get the center of mass of all the blocks to line up so that they are on this side of the table, then I can get it hanging out there. So here we go. This one's kind of, see, this one is almost all over the edge. And my last one, if I put it on just right, will be almost completely off the edge. There you go. Floating out there in space, it's amazing. Thank you very much. So another way to find the center of mass is to find a balance point and then trace a line through the center and then find another balance point and trace another line through there and then see where they intersect and you can find the center of mass. Well this wheel has a center of mass right at its center. Okay? And so it will balance just about anywhere you put it on any sort of axis. However, this wheel right here has a center of mass that's much off, it's much more off center. Okay? And so remember the center of mass has to be directly above the footprint. So it's actually barely stable right now because there's a big weight up here. And so yes, it's stable right now, but if I turn it just a little bit anywhere, it falls off. And the most stable place for it to be is right over the center of, of the footprint, but also having the mass at the lowest point. Okay? So that's now time for a brain teaser. I have a stick with a ball on the end. And so the ball has a lot of mass and the stick does not. So its center of mass is way over here near where the ball is. Okay, balance is right around there. All right. And if I want, I can hold the ball up in the air with my hand here and get it balanced. Center mass is above my hand, so it will balance. Now it's just a little bit off, so I have to kind of work to keep it up there, but I can keep it kind of balanced. Not too bad. All right. But if I turn it upside down where it should be more stable, as if it were sitting on a, on, a, on a cabinet or something, on a level surface, if I try and balance it, it's really hard. It moves all over the place. All right? Why is that? Okay, well here's the trick. When the center mass is really high, if I'm actively trying to balance it, I can move in very big ways and only move the center mass just a little bit, so I can nudge it around easier if I need to. All right? 
it's sort of like the momentum. The momentum up here is not moving very much. But if I have it down here, if I'm trying to move my hand around, I can't move my hand very fast because I have all this weight I'm pushing around, and so I can't keep it balanced. All right, so if you're trying to balance something up on a tall stick, it's actually almost easier to have the mass be towards the top, unlike when you're trying to balance things on a table. All right, here I am See you next on a large wooden plank to demonstrate center of mass, and I'm going to walk the plank. You gotta do it like you gotta say pirate voice though, right? Yark! So I'm gonna walk on out, right? And if I'm careful, the center mass between me and the plank combined will stay on the table side and won't go on the off the table side. So I'm gonna walk out here carefully. I can show you that I can stand on the edge, supported by nothing but the weight of the plank. Thank you and good night. So far, so good. All right, we have to stop again. And one more. Here we go. Big finale. Not going to work. We'll have to start over. <laughs>